Welcome back everybody, this is LizMarina300 speaking, I hope all of y'all enjoyed the previous video, I know I enjoyed making it for all of you. Uh, that's about a good volume. So, the previous... Oh, I found. Hold on. Okay, previous video, we did more on the Lantern right and upgrading characters. Again, I really want to upgrade my characters because... Well, if I do, then it'll just make it an easier experience for me, and probably a better experience for all of you. <laughs> Still puffed out, sorry. So, um, let's jump right into this one. Okay, sure. I should be kind of better now. So, what shall we do this video? I shall figure out we're doing this video later. Loading takes so long. Okay. Yes. Wait, how many of them do I have? Eight. Ooh. Might be able to do a ten draw this video. Oh yes. Three more! I'm pretty sure that's for all of them. Yes, 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 yes. That's now to 4k. I know it's another thing. I think it was this, yeah. One more day. Whoa, yeah. Oh, whoops. Forgot to welcome the chat. Oh, Bob. Hello and welcome. Make sure to read and follow all the rules. And there we are. I know we just completely postponed every other mission, but it's okay. Oh, Dragon Spine mission. Okay, let's start with these, eh? in dinner yet, so... See how I can join my mum's world next episode. Many more 
mortals long to seek the guidance of the Adepti. One knows not how they discover the location of one's abode. But every Skyward! Scatter! That is concerning. I do so much damage. Why do I do so much damage? Eight opponents. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Even more. Still doing a lot of damage. And boom. We eliminated. As fast as like crows, but I'm still done. I want to do something. What did I want to do? Is it with your weapon? No, but that's a 70. Oh, your talent. Oh, wait, no, I can't do I can't do anything with you. Your talent. Your version of this. I can upgrade that. Or I can upgrade this. I believe I should do this. With me, I I do like your attacking here and your things here. What is this? Healing. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, as I said, I want to upgrade these evenly from now. So, like, yeah. I know it might not be a popular opinion, but I like to keep things relatively the same. This is only going to be a three hour stream, so it's probably going to not be that much of a productive stream. Of course. I'm going to be different. I'll do the couple later. It's harming itself. Uh. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, scatter, skyward, riveting. Let's go heal up all my characters. Good enough. It's what I've got, so it's what I get. 
And it's what it's what I got, so it's what I gotta deal with and learn and adapt to. But welcome back. So, do you question, Gel? Do you see where you've got in your name? It's literally in your username. Gel. You see it now? Or is it just me? The nickname I've given you, Gel. You see where I got it from? Literally in your username. Gel. It's, um, the fourth last letter. Oh no, the fourth letter, the fifth letter, and the sixth letter. You see it? Why do you think I said that first? An I or an L, whichever it is, it's an I for me. Ah, uh, it's an L for me. Yeah, but I call you Joe. Because I can't say your username. Don't want to risk anything, because I said. No, no, no. We were talking not that long ago about, um, a name that I should give you instead of, um, your actual username. Remember? Because of, like, I don't want to risk anything again. So we did a conversation. It was gel, then it was, um... Uh, and then it was, what was it again? It was gel, and then it was, oh yeah, octopus marine double death missile launcher. And then it was ash. Oh, right. And you chose gel. Did something terrible happen again? Remember? <laughs> so, gel. <laughs> Astra, thank you for completing today's commissions. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ah, uh, never mind. By the way, I'll probably just call you the newer person until another newer person chats. So yeah. Don't worry about it. Um, what do I want to do now?
And now I'm just confused because, um, that's not proper grandma. Presently unoccupied. Perhaps we. Um, yes. Mm. Um, just got a message. Or oh, did you think it was Gel? By any chance? Did you think it was Gel? Because I was thinking it was gel. I was thinking it as gel because it was it's a lowercase already. And it autocorrected to an uppercase. <clears throat> you get to the key. G-E-L. Gel. Hear that? Gel. 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 Now, with it being an uppercase. Gel. See? Gel. 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 Or gel. I'm pronouncing it correctly. Okay. Get gel. That's how Google Translate pronounces it. Hi, gel. 
Nice to me. Gel. Alrighty. Yeah, let me put that into Google Translate then. Hi, Jill. Nice to meet you. Hear that? Hi, Jill. Nice to meet you. the access that um hiya how it G wait did I remember it wait is that how you say it wait a minute is that how you say it was that how I said please say that's how I say it Yes! I think that's correct. How's your day going? <laughs> I picked Garming. I'm- I'm gonna pick Garming as well. Um... To pluck good fortune stage participant uh to pluck the to pluck good fortune stage, participants start with mildness uh yeah, mildness. When the challenge starts, participants will be affected by super spicy spirit and continuously lose mildness. And when the challenge ends, the more mildness you still have, the higher your score will be. Safe stones will appear on the field. Uh, appear on the field at intervals. Enter them to avoid effects of super spicy spirit. The things will appear on the field as individuals. Collect them to can gain a certain amount of mildness. The super spicy Wokke will explode across the challenge, the uh, the challenge area in intervals. You will receive a warning before spicy, uh, Super Spicy Wokke appears. If you are unable to get to a safe zone and avoid the Super Spicy Wokke, shockwave before, uh, shockwave before it hits, you will lose a lot of mildness. Successfully avoiding it, on the other hand, restores a large amount. Ooh. Yes.
wonder if I can join you with an account that has, hasn't changed your event. If you can play the event. Who knows? But I only have three hours this um, episode because I'm going to school tomorrow. There's one more year left and I can be gone of that school. Fuck, I'm in the back. So much. Successful. Okay, I didn't win. Oh, I didn't win. Not back. The most participants maintain the highest madness. 318. Damn. Looks <clears throat> like we can do that twice. Okay. I um. I wonder if I can join with an uh, an account that hasn't finished that event yet. You can play in the event. Uh. Yeah, you could work, but why? I need four more other people to join. Then we can do that more near the end of the episode. Because, well... If we do it now, then we're gonna be wanting to defeat bosses and stuff. And that will take up most of the episode's time. the one I'm going to be writing, but I shouldn't. Best of affairs, here it is. Good request. Unable to initiate out of this peace prevails throughout the land and all things are made new as buds in the spring this is you just love cake after a very long day Even 
can give me. Damn, not even good stuff. Alright. <clears throat> um. Two days later at H. Okay. Mm. I have cake today, by the way. It's delicious. By the way, what's everyone's favorite cake, um, flavor? Ooh, and I want to my mom's stomach yes. right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gami. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> There's two... And then you got the idol accounts that are under private. Got about four to five people with us right now. Don't be afraid to speak up. It's your favorite, um... I think oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, Jewelry yeah, too. Yeah. Don't I have that? Oh wait, did I use that? Please don't say I did. Why do I get this? The shop's in the leeway. Caramel. But not pure caramel. You used to have a hint of something else. Where do I go back to? Who is it here? Myself. I'm not a food seller, but Ooh. Ooh. this is devotion. On oh, fireworks. Oh, this is where you got them stuff. Where do I go get tofu? I need tofu. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
Tofu. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Perhaps one should invent some form of curial discernment mechanism. <laughs> Where do I go find to go to Tofu? No, that's a jewelry shop. Tofu. So my eye, it's pretty cheap. Whoa, wait a minute, I didn't see this. Whoa. Still, where do I find some tofu? I'm sorry, I'm searching it up. I need tofu. To find the food, this guy can shoot for you. If you are present, Hello, you have Miss Bar. You have eight toasts of food that I can get. I need two. I wish I had as long hair as her. Imagine that, me with one. Perfect. Miss Bar? No. Wait, it might have been. Yes. No, I want tofu. Yes. Ten tofu. Glazed lily. If I need them. I will not buy from you. You you overcharge me. There's there's now three undisclosed uh, three undisclosed people. Nice. Soon. Who's gonna see me make it? Cook manually. Delicious jewelry soup. Cloud protect. 
Ah. Uh. Looks like you're gonna be meeting with yourself. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Interesting. Yeah. Seems easy. How you're going? Your business is a novel one. You simply came to wish me well, and not to fulfill a wish of some other nature. <laughs> Very well, so be it. Mortal minds work in a mysterious way. I have no interest in attempting to understand you. Since you are demonstrating demonstratively idle at present, would you care to do me a small favor? Once upon a time, I had made a modest breakthrough in my mechanical studies. I built myself, I, I built for myself a dwelling in the clouds suspended in the air. This dwelling in the clouds was built particularly from plasterite, supported by a multitude of other indigenous ingenious features. In fact, its most marvelous feature of old was was never mind. You wouldn't understand it even if I explained it to you. You're talking to yourself. After consideration of the dwelling of the clouds was complete, I left the blueprints there. Oh, I also added a seal, thinking that one of true... I don't know how to say that word. With the blueprints, might eventually obtain them. But no, but no, to this day, the seal stands. It now seems a needless bother to me to have the blueprints stored there. Perhaps can, you could retrieve them from the dwelling in the clouds for me. Sure. Such enthusiasm. Then do not delay. Deliver them to my abode where you, uh, when you have found them. For that is where I shall be waiting for you. That was a good chat, Cloud Retainer. Especially to yourself. Wait a minute, that's this place. It is true. Da -da -da -da. We're up here once again. Still doing it, Cloud Retainer. Yeah, skyward. <laughs> What's this? Hit. Oh, iron. Thirteen thousand HP. Damn. I see you have obtained the blueprints now. Hand them to me forthwith. Yay. Oh, wait, I need to turn on my lights. There we go. Uh, first off, I do not trust that there is nothing came here, so... Don't tarry and he was going to deliver them. Deliver them right there. Ah, oh, yay. It has begun. Each more time will be gained after each game. Oh, 
Oh, damn, you know what? There's no way for you to get up there. Where's a wind current when you need one? Wait a minute. Yeah, skyward, scatter. You're right. That's higher, will it not? Once a wind current when you need one? Not here. You don't need it. Oh, hello, me in um uh Adeptus form. These are indeed blueprints for my dwelling in the clouds. The one is most pleased. Must you continue to question me very well, considering you did make an awful one. Once he has heard of certain a certain jade chamber that hangs in the air above leeway built by mortal hands. Literally, of course, it's her. She can take the shortcut. Yeah. One has also heard that mortals values size above all else, and have on this basis proceeded to declare that said J chamber is without parallel in the world. Hmm. Such are such are the limitations of mortal comparison. What they fail to fathom the ingenuity of ingenuity of an, the adeptus J chamber on my foot. A glimpse at the most trivial of my mechanisms, accomplish uh, of my most trivial <clears throat> a glimpse at the most trivial of my mechanical accomplishments would reveal the J chamber is utter would be an utterly tedious and mundane piece of work. Nonsense, I'm no loser, nor I'm afflicted with sores. I merely pity the foolish these mortals, blind to Adeptus ingenuity, bedazzled by the crudest of craftsmanship. I fear that this will cause mechanics among mortals to develop in a woefully mistaken direction. It falls to me to point them down the right path. The matter at hand is concluded. Leave at once. I shall, fellow Cloud Retainer. Now, seriously, no, yes, let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah, tea. Oh, I want some tea. You. Wait, I have some tea. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. Oh. That was for you to rinse your utensils. Uh, that's a thing. 
you. As you talk, piping hot dim sum dishes arrive at the table one after another. As you talk, ah, uh, one after another, and just when you think that's all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings an over gigantuous bowl of seafood, congee. Ah. Oh. Wow, so much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. <laughs> Obviously. Paimon. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tongsoi coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. Right. What about you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks! Everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish, each, each dish tastes exquisite and un uni and is uniquely flavored. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy a pleasant conversation over this over satisfying meal. This goes on until Paimon can't eat another bite. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. You're smarter now? Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figure what out. Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Just like another person we may or may not know. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? <laughs> You sure know a lot of people. Yes. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. You just knock off and change your door. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but... You're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. <laughs> my dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. <laughs> Yaming mean, always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important for him. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Uh, yes. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushou dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. Oh, I would love to see that. An actual throwing hands instead of swords in the end, and blades. I was so and angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. 
No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. Do you show him the profits of what you did? I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Yes. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So, I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. We well, looks like we will understand. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Sounds puffed out. Actually, we kind of already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gami? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Shen Yun. Um, she? That title certainly humanizes her a bit. Yeah. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. <laughs> she came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dice. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. Cloud retainer, but why? It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dice in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! And she's gonna get irritated. It has started a cloud sea appear appeal. Can't read the rest of that. A brilliance revealed. Ah, uh, exit, exit, exit. Just bye. Thousand. Oh yeah, your bird. Wait a minute. Does any other character need upgrading or leveling up? Other than you. <clears throat> what are we getting there? You're already at seventy. Let's see that. This doesn't really need to be really shown. Yao Yao, the youngest disciple of Street Ward Ramble. She is gentle and considerate, treating others with sincerely, with sincerely and generosity, and is always actively taking on the responsibility for others. She is gifted, an enthusiastic learner, and though she is young and sometimes plays harmless pranks, she will surely grow up into a uh, great, into a learned and I don't know how to say that last one. Friends. 
Hi, Ganyu. <sighs> Ganyu! <laughs> oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. Uh... A guest at Wanmin restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <sighs> I went back right to sleep. Hmm. Apologies in advance. Uh... Wait! Shenha! Not there! You see Shenha take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelly liquid and apply it onto Ganyu's horns. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Paimon look on in shock. The mouse of gate, but cannot stop her in time. <coughs> See, it worked. Wide awake now. She's awake. <laughs> Are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water, or or maybe something to eat? I, I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm. Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, oh, no. I doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. We can go get the one in solitary confinement, uh, to an a clee. You get a clee explosion. <laughs> oh, I... I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. You work at we Wanmin get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never. Mm. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming? The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Damn. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, I guess you don't. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. Yao Yao, thought so. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too. There's every good student. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Uh... Well, Chi-Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Oh, Baishu yeah. lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Chi -Chi. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really I'm thoughtful. Thinking. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. <sighs> It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes, but I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here, but where the heck is Xian Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? <laughs> oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! Master stopped to buy grilled tigerfish to share with everyone. 
Come get it while it's still warm. Oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Fravitana <laughs> 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 sits down her bags while Shenyi hands out the grilled fish as everyone begins to talk. Lively conversation fills the unusually tranquil environment of Mount. I, I, I can say that. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler! One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Make the best cut. Let's make the cut. Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Huh? W I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm... What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? Butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Garmin searches for. What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Yeah. Um, Shenhe, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. What? Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh... Oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Yeah, I'm not checking okay. out. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. I'm going to disturb them. Boy. The scissor-tailed swallow sure takes a lot of curved bamboo rods to build. Ugh. It broke. Oh, I'm sorry. What's up? <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friends. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. Make it both. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm going to start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. <laughs> Is your kite finished? Oh, we actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we should get started on our kite now. Let's go. Completely crazy idea! If nothing else, a Paimon-shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go! Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the Guardian Angel of Travelers! You build the kites frame according to the instruction. That's actually that's pretty good. Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. Happy. <laughs> oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong and even if she did she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it something like this then since the kite is going to be flying ooh like this Now it's the, the time. Is going to be... uh, what did this one look like again? Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. No. And even if she did, she... Since that the one. kite... Ooh, like this? <laughs> now that we've decided, let's make it happen. I better not draw nothing. Artistic style's not it's good. Done. Paimon has to say. Yes. Hi, Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Now we just have to attach the string, right? And she's All right. To say everything Gather soon. around, everyone. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. Hmm. Let one take a look. Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Ah, uh, no. Yep. The coloring I think I did that wrong. makes it look a lot like Master. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Now, one more time. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off? 
laugh while painting it on you? <laughs> I did the painting. Oh. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. No, they just confused my eyes. Look at the color she's wearing. Oh! Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. What? No way! You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow, the disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shen He. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gao Ming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Just like his one. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? It's nine look. Here it is! None of them's impressed. Hmm. Its self-important countenance bears a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. It makes her look like she's already won the competition. Well, that's gonna happen one way or another. Hmm. You forgot something up your sleeve. Is that the Jade Chamber? Oh. Dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission. Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Uh... Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Someone's about to die. Wait, no, it's gonna be Chishi. Brings this girl's friend. I think. Uh hold up, hold up. They'll be right. Just a minute, everyone. Just a minute. Retainer? As I said, someone's about to die. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? Is she mad? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. <laughs> okay. There's wind in the head. Looks like we can glide over. Retaining going after hmm. Cloud Retainer. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Of course it's them. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Outsong. Okay, that's how you say it. Perhaps that. it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. 
Your uh, concern is misplaced, sure. No, not misplaced. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples or secluded in her abode attending to her research. Not... She will not notice that kite. She already noticed. On the noticed. subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. You're about... Mm -hmm. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Huh? Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her? Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. Did they just reveal something? <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. That is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray. Who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyin. We're about to reveal everything, and Cloud Retain is going to be mad. I'm getting ready to screenshot. Moon Carter? Mountain oh, Sheep? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> you! Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Then you are not angry? Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. Mind me. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Oops. They're back. Pooped. Uh, huh? Why are there only two of you left?
Sorry about that, everyone. No. Open it back up. After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. What? Get back up on the screen. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Is that in the background? A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? <sighs> It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. Yep. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Mm -hmm. Tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? Yes. We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where were you anyway? Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. It would be like a godly stay uh, for him. Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. What? What about me? There's a chest, yes, so just a moment. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Got her. Bye, all of you. Leave this mortal plane realm. Oh, cool. This stuff looks. against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. It looks good. I can say that. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do we look? Huh? She asked them just like that? Great is not a word. Fabulous is better. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. How about me? What How colors about have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. 
A virtue I've come to value recently. And you, Ganyu? <laughs> I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift, and the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Let's sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan! Like, when, when, when characters in games get new skins, what I want to see is the MC, like either the boy or the girl, get a new outfit. That would be epic. I like the new um, character looks, and yes. These golden crabs particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. It's a good thing Gaming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. Oh, that would be... Okay, so uh, let me read out... Um... Let me read out... Uh, brain malfunctioning. Brain malfunctioning. Brain, brain malfunctioning. Houchi. Let me read out Houchi's message. Um... Imagine a new skin per region to fit the region. That would be so good because apparently with Enemo, Enemo is what color again? What color is it for everyone? Blue, blue, greeny, whatever it is. So it's that. The current current thing is like blue, greeny, and all of that. And the hairpin and stuff. And go to yes. teal. No, it's teal. Oh wait, mom, you're here! By the way, that's my mom. That was just that just said that. Um so yeah. Um teal. Okay. Teal for animo. Um like gold for um uh <laughs> we're not in America. So yeah. Hi uh you're not Japanese, Mom. You're full Spanish. Um, so, yeah, so gold for Leeway and Geo. Uh, um, what color is it? Green for, um, for Dendro. Purple for Inazuma. And, like, a vibrant dark blue. Yeah, that's better. Hola! And dark blue for like the, the, um... What? What did you just say? Wait a minute. Oh, bonus notches. Wait. You just said good night. Uh, <laughs> you just said good night. Uh, <laughs> it also translates to good night as I've, um, as I know. <laughs> good evening. Oh, wait. I should add that to good evening. Sound. And yeah, like a dark blue color for um for Fontaine, and then a red vibrant fire color that like glows all around the thing for the fire region. Yeah, that they did. So I asked why. Yeah, I know, right? It's okay. It's okay. And then what is it? What is it? And then like a. A glowing, a glowing snow color. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. 
One was hoping to treat him to a meal. It's all good. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. But, Mama, meet Hauchi. That's the. That's, that's that person there. Hauchi. So that's the nickname that I'm allowed to call them. <laughs> one has high standards. Or how? He appears to be I a don't know what the other one is. Merit. Alex. And one is not the Alex, type who how, would see how such how potential she? squandered. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh. What strange no, metaphors no, no, you no, speak no. in Shenhe. Mama. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. <laughs> that. Ouchie. Not ouchie. <laughs> Ouchie. It's Ouchie, Mum. Like, you know, how how from Honkai Star Rail? Honkai Star Rail? It's Ouchie. Yeah, oh. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yin? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. Yep. He ran away from home and hasn't been back yep. since. Is that a confused air or a laughing air? Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Definitely, we're telling his story. And what? interestingly. Okay. This shall not do. Uh. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. Uh, what's happening? As what's, one was contacting various tales around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. Who the heck is he that? He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked oh, Minogius his opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And later... What do you mean I'm an interesting person? I'm just me. I'm me here. I can be myself. I don't need to be... something I'm not. I can be myself here. I can be myself at home. And I, I can't be myself at school. In school, you have to... Close to yourself. Well, that's what I do. I'm not an interesting person. I'm a boring person. That's what I am. <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. One means to say that Lantern Right should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. Yeah, and you always make everyone laugh. Not how, how am I meant to know the people on the other side of the screen are laughing? You never know, they could snicker like, Ch like that, or just, um... Just like, you know, might not make everyone laugh, but still, it's just me. This is me, this is what you gotta deal with. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm, perhaps Adeptal Arts could be of use. No, I'm not changing for no one. No, mechanics perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. 
Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm... Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! I don't make my big brother laugh. My, one of my, my little brother under me is always irritated with me. My littlest brother is annoyed at me because I wake him up by throwing him across the room. And my littlest sister, uh, I can't, I can't read her yet. And you keep your company every day. Thanks. How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? I what? didn't. What? Time on really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. It has been completed. I can use it. What? Huh? Where did it go? Um, okay. It's a furnishing. Nice. Uh, how much prima do I have the me now? Hmm. So close. What else can I do? I can get I can get a waypoint and then I need 30 more. How can I get 30 more Primo Gems really fast? Really fast. How can I get 30 Primo Gems? Thirty Primo Gems. Thirty Primo Gems. Oh, but why? Ten, Fifteen, twenty. This one first. We just need thirty. Listener Let's go. Weary whenever I begin to divulge them. <clears throat> I shall go get primo gems. I only need just bits, a little bit more. Scatter, skyward, here, here, skyward. Why is everything delayed? Ah, what trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. Never mind. Well, I'm still gonna go get the waypoint, but I have enough now. How would you, you mind joining? You've been my lucky charm so far. We're getting good stuff. You mind joining? I have another ten pull I can do. Skyward! Scatter! Alright then. I'll join later. Ah. Uh, okay. Yep. Well, when you can, slash, I'm set. I'm currently in someone's house. Oh, that's fine. You don't need to join by my immediate notice. I'm just asking. Is that like a question? Mm -hmm. I can actually try the abyss. I haven't done the abyss yet. Well, whenever you can, I uh, can message through. And I'll probably be done with, an, with the abyss by that point. Eight days until the abyss moon spire resets. One. Um, I'm just gonna go with you, you. So, 
that, that, no. Yes, you should be one, you should be two. Two. You should be three, you should be four, wait, no. You should be three, you should be four. So that's been my two main zone. I think that would be the best fit. Back to the chamber. Characters elemental burst damage. <laughs> effective for this floor. What do you mean effective for this floor? This is effective completely. Minus cooldown is always good. Ooh, I might have needed to do the there. I don't want. Dead, so I'm not just dropping on anything. EM plus Oh That just seems overpowered <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yes. This it's gotta be greater than three minutes, so I've got like three minutes to kill them all. Yep. I think you know where this is going. Oh no nah, man, you just you just you're just wanting everything to die, eh? For my own thing. Might need to kill my character if I know. Well, that one's just probably better. Great clouds converge! Scatter! Skyward! Yeah. Yeah. This might be a little bit too. I won't be out. I can come. I. Uh, okay. Can I do this like la uh, this last chamber? Or this last floor? Is it fine if I left another team for you? This team so far is doing really good, and I really don't want to build another team because I'm. Uh, I'm like used to this team. So, no, I put that at four. Damn it. I have a fifty percent chance, but when it's two, it's a hundred percent chance. I put it at three. I don't like how I put it at three. Damn it, damn it, get to the other side, get to the other side. Wait, I can kill these three now. Your attack has improved a lot. Yeah, I can tell. It did, it, it did like 25,000 once before. I'm almost done with this floor, just two more stages. And then, uh, and then you'll be able to join. Um... Oh. This 
Huns will be stronger, much stronger. <laughs> Another test subject. That Whoa, that echo. Prepare to be blown away. Wait, no. Oh well. Look okay, what you gotta get. Another test subject. 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 Another test Nice. And by enemies up the platform to defeat them. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Okay, current buff. Elemental skill does more damage. Okay. Um, I got. What is all of this? Hello, welcome. We shall be teleporting to her domain and her humble abode. That I. <laughs> Let's go, Haoichi. There's a couple of things that I've got, and I've got this. Level one, and Shrocker's Cap. Okay, and now I have just a moment. I'm like looking through my stuff. Do the spell abyss, claim this, a hundred primo gems, chapter six. People's Hello, choice. Flame. Nice. Looks like we've got Zhang Ling as well. Hello, nice. Everything's ready. Let's we'll go. Chamber three. Okay. And now, well, I'm still trying to claim stuff and. I don't like notifications. For final, this year, playing all. 8 to 11, no way. Okay, let's do this 10 wish now, shall we? Come on, Jing Yuan, come on, come on, let me see that gold, let me see that gold. Nah, please be um, Jing Yuan. Uh, um, no, gumming, please be gumming, please be gumming. Come on. Please. No. Now. Coming up here. Up here now. Uh oh. That's okay. We just know well. <coughs> Oh no, is indeed.
Maybe the seating arrangement. Maybe. Because you were on that side when I got the other character. I can't ten wish again, by the way. What am I claiming? I'm getting so much. That's okay. How much do I have in standard meta? Single wish, why not? Okay. It could have been something cool. You never know. That's all I got. Okay, uh we can go do that um event thing in the um at the event the event um ping imaging. You can still do it, can you not? You can still do it meanwhile you have full points. It just you yeah. won't reap any benefits. Yeah. I'll wait for you. It's just you won't get any points and stuff or rewards for doing it extra. Just training, I guess. Come on, let me on top of that thing. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let me. Welcome back. Wait, 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 wait. This guy kind of looks like, um... Um... Uh, who's that guy from... Oh, yeah, um... That guy from... What is his name? He's like a thief in, um... In Honkai Star Rail. Uh... So what is his name? Kind of looks like that guy, though. Um... Sampu, yes. I'll do random play, by the way. We won't know what we're doing. Sampu. Four people, hello! Welcome! So the IP mode. Race to the top. Okay. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. We got minus ten. Yeah. I still want more points. Inconsequential. No. 
consequential. Be friend, 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 please. Friend. Fortune to this for seventeen. Nice, perfect score as well. Well, not perfect, but it's if good you enough. Are presently unoccupied. We scuff at the start. They were on to me, it's funny. I didn't scuff at the start! I went right to the thing without even realizing it by accident. But we might be able to get it next time, so. That's a good thing. Also, I'll be able to invite him now. Yes. Yes. And now because I've done that... Ah, yes. First off, claim the, the outfit. Ripples through his robes. His garments steeped in the spirit yes. of the bamboo groves. Now I want to get his character because I have a new outfit for him. One character into a party. 800. Ah, oh, never mind. I can't invite him to my party yet. One more day for that. Wait, I haven't done this quest yet. No. I mean, he's one of the best four star supports. His support? Skin is good. Yes, I agree. Wait, do I already have him? <laughs> Never mind, I already have the guy. I haven't even used him. Fancy. What I'll do switch you it to this one just because I can. Office, but soon gave up on the idea. It's just not right to keep small animals where they won't be able Some to see DPS. the <laughs> Right. Because I almost have, uh, I only have 50 minutes left. Can I, tr can I see if I can do that, um, the quest, the other one, to obtain this, like, the third part? So, thank you for joining me. I hope you continue um, watching the stream. Okay, single player mode. Make way for the adeptus. Of course, I must do that. Why not? I won't even try and pronounce that name. <laughs> I definitely understand with every single character in the game, if you build them all correctly, or in the right way, which is technically correctly, I believe. I'm jumpy. I'm jumpy. Aw. I'm no longer jumpy. Esteemed guests, I, the apprentice storyteller Jin Arco. Wait, perhaps you have heard the tale that goes something like this in the be in the beautiful light of lantern lights, flames lights, flaming lights once danced across the sky, like glowing brushes, like a majestic scroll. Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch that. Flaming lights, 
painting in the sky that that's not something ordinary people can do even if you had some kind of airship there's no kind of mysterious paint that can just hang in the air like that I'm on its poet sounds like a serious exaggeration exaggerated analogy talking about clowns anyways the protagonists of the tale are none other than you two the renowned Liz Marino 300 whose fame has spread throughout the land and her companion Paimon huh why is it suddenly about us perhaps you have already forgotten but this time of year you accepted all commissions from the adventurer to Tim Jim and participated in special speedrun challenge I did the speedrun challenge was illuminated by the glow of fireworks, a sight most majestic, majestic, a splendorous scene of not of seen. Now you mention it, Paimon kind of remember helps remember that we helped some promoter for some adventures guild. It was nothing really. So you said. She said she wanted to use the event to recruit new members. I had no, I no idea if it actually worked though. At the time, I was drowning my sorrows in liquor near Wang Shuin, and as I looked up, I saw your silhouette framed by the fireworks. In that moment of sadness from clunk clunking the exam. My confusion about the path that lay that lay before me it was all dispelled in a flash by your radiant figures blazing brightly with fatality so i pulled myself together and continued my research onto folk tales and thus came to chung Vale, drinking deep of uh drinking deep of my favorite subject I must thank you for encouraging me, for the encouragement you gave me. And it's not just me, many more many were moved by your splendid silhouettes. Joining the Adventurers Guild and finding new finding a new direction in life. But Paimon never imagined uh, imagined anything like that. What we didn't even notice anyone watching at the time and didn't even think us joining the little race could inspire other people. When you put it like that, it's kind of embarrassing. It's good to see that your spirit has improved. To run into you, to run into you today is truly my good fortune. There is one thing I would like to ask in addition to expressing my sincerest gratitude. Please pass your radiant glory onward and continue to inspire more people. Though we aren't nearly as great as you say, you've got a good idea going. If we can cheer up more people, if we can cheer up more people, we're in. Though that now you mention it, just what should we do? In accordance with usual, the usual with usual practice, I used Tingyin's race challenge as in reference and teamed up with other adventurers inspired by you we've planned a brand new activity something cloud striding there is many wondrous things here in chungun vale including a strange car whose power allows you tr to travel most swiftly all you need to do is vault over the other valleys and mount and mount the mountain tops with your nimbleness, showing your vibrant dynamism to the sun, uh, to all and sun dry, just as before. Wherein, of course, beyond the mora I have prepared as a token of appreciation, we prepared a variety of other rewards to express our gratitude. Uh, thank you, but I don't think they need it. I don't want it. Such a plattery gesture, such a plattery gesture, gestures pale 
with the hope you have gifted so many. In the excitement your past deeds inspire, but it that is not all. In the future, we will find more chances to repay you. You don't need to! Yeah, <laughs> you're too kind. We'll keep on journeying, 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 and helping out those in need along the way, even without any rewards. But after you, after hearing you, we're most we're more inspired to keep adventuring. Let's give this don't know how to say this word cloud striding a try. <laughs> Oh, it looks like I can only do three, and then the other two I unlock later. Score 3,000 points. It looks like we have to travel to the place. It would be better if I had the teleport points. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't go for all teleport points. Oh, well, I have to do a whole episode getting every single one. That's good, that's good, that's good. I remember this location. Didn't even get me that far up. We shall actually get this waypoint as well. To do with this, so take it back. Sadly, I don't have a fire time, but I do have oh, this. It's not a fire time, but good enough. Get out of my way. Do you know how powerful that was? These could probably be did, the but still, wow. Uh, during whatever that says, Cloud Shrouding Challenge, you must reach your destination while collecting as many Jade Lotus Lanterns on the way to obtain the a score high as possible. Onimus Lanterns will be present during the challenge. You will have points deducted if you pick them up. After you come in contact with Firework Lanterns, they will explode and trigger the pickup effect of all objects within the explosion radius. There will be cunning plants to be picked up near the Golden Carp's Leap Pearls that can help you complete the coming challenges. Uh... Okay. After you pick up a cunning plan, clash advance. Oh, Jade Lotus Lanterns will appear before you for a limited time. This will help you obtain a higher score. Okay. 
deduct points. Yeah, limited time gain, lotus nonsense. Challenge complete with a 4K score. Nice. I missed something. I must have. Definitely. Three heroes win. I can get that one. That was pretty good. Was satisfying. Can take that. The other one is there. Wait, no, that's another one too. Navigate. Definitely now we're getting this one. Well, that's right next to that boss. Do I need that boss again? No, not for a while, actually. <laughs> Double points. Ooh. Damn, I 
next one. Gaming of change, yes. It ain't. The heck. get that crown so badly. Looks like we know how to make these walls now. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh yeah, that thing. Let's level up Garming C1, C2. Garming receives a healing bonus, and this instance of healing overflows his attack. Will be equipped. That is just too good. Max. That's my little is That was too profound to convey in a few simple words. Talent slight hence this one. Eventually we'll need a crown. I can get it, I can get it, I can get it. I can get it. I just need nine, I have two. Yes, I can break this ghost skill again. Yes. Enter. I shall enter the suburb. I'll be a silver sun. It is not lower, I can tell you that for sure. 16, 16, 12, 12, 12. You, your hands. Crit rate, that's too good. Damage. Mm -hmm. Stop sending That's what I'll Sixteen. So much more time. Oh. 
I'm dumb as heck. Wait, never mind. HP, HP, HP. Uh, I should probably have attack or not. Energy recharge is good. I know I've been told then do energy recharge, but I don't really want to do energy recharge. I want to increase it to that. We'll switch to this one. That's actually not too soon. It's not low. I can tell you it is not lower than recommended. This is just right. Yeah! 
Kidding me, that's the only one that That thing that constantly damages me, like, damn.
bricks. So that's one. I have to leave the domain for now. I'll come back in just a moment, just after I kill all my car. <laughs> No, that little bit. Well, when I can I finally upgrade my, um, my Shinobu girl, her health will drastically increase because of, well, um, uh, she won't be base level. Six, seven, eight, and then it will bring it up. Yes, we'll just do that. Just complete it once and then upgrade the character's talent. Ooh, yes.
Thank you very much. I can't really do constant damage when they're fire because my fire character is my main, one of my two main hitters. Or main DPSs. So yeah. Can't really do much about that. Yeah. Oh wait, Spiral Abyss rewards? I have rewards from the Spiral Abyss? Unclaimed bounces. Okay, hold up. We gotta continue doing this action. <laughs> Her. I'll just try and max out the spiral this as I can. Where's the ice? Character HP instantly restores. Yay! Uh. 
So let's choose my main I will read this much. Oh, okay. Yes, then. And then you, you, and you, you would. Wait, we are not so thin. I can deal with that. Up 
to enjoy this too much. should have stayed home. I believe that one be good for this scene. <laughs> Another test subject. You're off. Fight. Freeze. Prepare to be blown away. Okay. <laughs> Mighty mythical beast. <laughs> Many happy returns. Stop it Freeze. now! Cease 
face the sky. This all for sure. Inconsequential. The wrong test Jeez. subject. Skyward! Got him! Derivative! Strike clouds converge! The wrong test subject. Can't continue, can't continue. I need to go to bed. So, um, I know this is not tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I had a had a blast, um, watching, f uh, uh, playing for all of you, and and I hope to see you all here to um tomorrow. But, ooh, look at that. We got another four star Ready right at the Angel end. Calling. I have Point no idea. I've, I've no idea who that is. Um, so yeah. Um, for the people on Twitch, thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope all of y'all enjoyed, um, watching this. I know I enjoyed making this for everyone. Um, what is that achievement? Here it is. Um, so, um, I hope to see you here tomorrow, and for the people on, uh, watching this back on YouTube, on the right here shall be my latest video, on the left here shall be my first video of this series, and the center here shall be a subscribe button. If you like more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. I'll see you all next time.